Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. In this video, I'm going to be doing a book review of Mrs. Palfrey at the Claremont by Elizabeth Taylor. So this book is the penultimate book of Elizabeth Taylor's. This book was from 1971, I think, and she passed away in 1975. This book is about an older woman called Laura Palfrey who goes to reside at the Claremont Hotel because she can no longer do the cooking, the cleaning, the washing, the ironing, all those things that you require when you live in your own home. So she goes to reside and live in a hotel. When she gets there, she realises there's lots of other older people towards the end of her life like herself that are doing the same thing and she gets there and she starts to settle in um, she is very much feels like the new girl and um, one day she's asked by the head girl to go and get her library book for her so Mrs Palfrey does but when she comes back she slips and she has a fall and a young man comes to her aid he cleans her cuts and sends her back on her way and she's like oh thank you so much and she's like I want to um say thank you properly let me get you dinner will you come to dinner with me on Saturday night I live at the Claremont and he's like yes and it's about their friendship that they form Mrs Palfrey and this young aspiring author called Ludo um and it's about the relationship that they form now when she's been at the Claremont, she's spoken about her daughter Elizabeth and her grandson Desmond and people think that Ludo is Desmond and she just kind of rides along with it. Um, it's a real sombre book and it, it's quite sad in a lot of places because her daughter and her grandson aren't really that bothered by her, you know, and it's quite sad that that reality, that for a lot of people that is the case. Um, but actually she forms this really interesting and lovely relationship with Ludo. Um, I adored this book. It's it's a book that I finished and when I finished it, it gave me goosebumps. I, I literally went through all the different types of feelings that you can with books. At some points I, I, you know, my boyfriend was doing something. I was like, can I just stop you and read you this quote? Um, because I was like, this is utterly charming or this is really witty or this is really clever. This is really sad and all those types of things. I just went through so many different emotions. I adored it. The plot was lovely, but what was the main attraction for me is the writing. I thought it was just brilliantly, brutally written. And I think what Elizabeth Taylor does so well is the mundane, that all the little things that I think for some people they could find quite boring in a book, but actually that's the bit that I love in books. Um, and I want to read you a little snippet because I just adored it. And I hopefully I'll read you this snippet and then it'll entice you to go and pick this book up. So we're right back at the beginning here and she's just trying to settle in. In the lounge, knitting was brought out. There was even a little desultory conversation. Mrs Palfrey knew that in such hotels as this, residents had special chairs, and in her usual way of being sure how to behave, on this first evening, she sat down in rather a dark place by the door and in a draft, settled her cape around her shoulders and opened her Agatha Christie. I don't just love it because of the Agatha Christie bit, although extra bonus points, but I just, it's just charming and wonderful. It reminds me quite a bit of like Barbara Pym sort of esque writing. And I don't see many people talking about Elizabeth Taylor's books here on YouTube. So I am definitely one to fly the flag and say you should go and read her books because this is absolutely wonderful. And then funny enough, I was reading um, the introduction and stuff because I always wait for the end to do that uh, in case it spoils anything for me. And right at the beginning where it talks about Virago modern classics and just a little bit about the author, it's, it says Rosamund Lehman called her sophisticated, sensitive and brilliantly amusing. I mean, I just read a book by Rosamund Lehman if you want to watch my review, link up here. Um, and I loved it. And it's just so funny that they all kind of connect and come together. It's lovely. Um, highly, highly recommend it. I gave it five stars. It was incredible. It was amazing. Um, you'll laugh in some parts. You might cry at others. Uh, just a word of warning, but it's just magnificent. And I can't recommend it enough. So yes. If you want to get your hands on a copy, I will leave it in description bar below. Please chat to me in the comments all things Elizabeth Taylor in general. Not just about this book, but Elizabeth Taylor because I, oh she's soon becoming one of my favourite authors, isn't she? She's just wonderful. So yeah, highly recommend it. So that's it for this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.